welcome to another video um, where I feel like I say the same thing every time where I, I spent a long day at the muggle job and it's why this looks like this because um, she's been a long day and I'm excited because it's Friday which technically is not my last day at the muggle job I take Saturdays off why am I rambling why am I sharing this with you I don't know <laughs> I like to share. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm excited um, because we're moving into the weekend and I got myself, oh, what are we doing? Tearing up the dust. <clears throat> I've got myself a mystery box. I've also still got a scratchy throat, so I don't know what it is, but I got the cough and I think I had the flu. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It wasn't fun, but it's over minus the cough. So we just got that sexy voice going on. I think it is. <laughs> okay, we have a box anyway, and it is the Magic Delivered Quarterly Box. And the reason that I am in green today is because I'm feeling very sly. I'm feeling the Slytherin vibes, and I was just telling my husband, I don't know why I associate Slytherin with potions, um, because this theme is potent potions. I've got that right, right? Potent? I like saying that. Potent potions. Um, it's interesting that it's very specifically potent, so I'm curious what they do here. But, I mean, Snape is the m master of potions. Master? Who's the master of potions, right? The potions master? That's the appropriate. It's the other way. <laughs> And he's a Slytherin, so I'm in green. Anyway, but before we get into this video, just a quick little, before I drop the whole, hey, please subscribe to my channel. Um, on that note, we are getting pretty darn close to 1K, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things is not a lot of subscribers, but you know what? We just hit a year of being on here and every little bit feels like a lot. Every time somebody subscribes, it feels awesome. And that sounded so lame. <laughs> It feels so awesome <laughs> and loved. Um, I just feel like I'm always gonna be grateful every time somebody's like, yeah, I'm gonna watch you, cool. So we're gonna hit 1K at some point in the near future, I think, I feel confident. Um, and with that, I plan on doing a 1K giveaway. I did a quick little post in the community um, section but I know not everybody sees that. YouTube doesn't do a great job of sharing that. And I also shared in Discord. And what I'm hoping to do is do a 1K giveaway. I already got some goodies. I'm excited to, to give them away. That's what a giveaway is. Um, but I'm hoping to do a Q&A, a 1K Q&A. I've never done one. It's already bizarre to me. I like anybody wanting to know anything about me, but I figure if you're watching me, maybe you do. And so firstly, thank you for anybody who's already sent me questions. Questions, I will be answering all of them. That's right, all of them, okay? I'm a pretty open book, so if you have questions, I would love to know them, I would love to answer them. Um, so leave them anywhere you want, okay? You can leave them in the comments down below, I'll be putting a post down there. Um, you can drop them in the Discord, you could DM me, and I have an email as well. Um, I'm old school, okay? And so you can just, whatever works for you, I don't care. Ask me whatever questions, but, uh, speaking of that, if you're new here and you want to be a part of a community that believes weird is wonderful and magic is real, then hit that subscribe button in the down belows and be notified every time there's a new weird video, every time we unbox a box, every time, I don't know, magic happens. So let's get this thing started. So like I said, this is the potent potions theme. There's nothing we really need to go over as far as box design because Magic Delivered keeps us the same every time she is a heavy one. Um, as far as what I'm expecting, we do already know that they have been running with the series, which is the journal series. Uh, I'll link a playlist of our Magic Delivered unboxings so you can see the last two. They are so good. What was it? We've got the mushroom one and um, the magical creatures one. I don't know if it was called magical creatures, but it was gorgeous and it's a series of four journals that they're doing so I'm expecting a potions journal very excited for that I've loved those and I don't know for sure if there's gonna be a t-shirt um I don't know let's stop guessing let's open this thing see why it's so heavy I, I'm expecting a potion okay it's called potent potions what's the most potent potion probably the one that kills you is what he said <laughs> okay what's in here is this the cheat sheet I see a shirt all right first off I'm seeing a t-shirt. Uh, I can't remember how many items are in this box total. 
And the other thing, the one thing, and I've said it, the one thing that I've wanted to see change a little bit more, and we'll see if it happens, with Magic Delivered specifically, there's changes I wanna see in all of the subscription boxes. We have our, you know, preferences, is it's always so colorful, okay? <laughs> I love me some colors and flowers and everything, but I wanted to dial away from that. And I'm telling you, this, this shirt right now is gray, so it's already up my alley. So let's see what this shirt is. And it tends to be a staff shirt, I think. Um, it's a dark gray. <clears throat> what have we got? Um, it is a staff shirt. She says staff. She's not very specific <laughs> on the front. So it's normally in the corner and the back is where the action is. I'll show you first. What do we got? We've got some purpley businesses. I think I see the word cauldron. Okay, ask me about your self-stirring cauldrons available in new and second-hand models. Okay. Does that mean there's a self-storing cauldron in here? There, no, there's not? How dare you? Spoilers! What? I'm just saying. I don't know if it's a hint for other things. So there's the staff shirt. Um, I would say it's, you know, it, it meets the potion thing. So there's the back. I don't know how I feel. I like purple. It's very Halloween-y as far as like the purple goes. It's on theme. It's gray. I appreciate that. Thank you for moving to more neutral colors. Okay. Actually, this whole thing, I'm feeling very neutral. Okay, I could see a thing right now. Let's grab this thing. So next up is, okay, we've got a pen. Um, it's very confusing because it's uh, it's multiple things. What is happening on the end of this? We have a, a spoon pen. Have we had a spoon pen before? I don't think we have. Uh, it is a wooden spoon pen. It's got a cauldron. I think this is like laser cut into there. Um, a cauldron brewing in the top there and she's a pen. As you might know, I prefer black in everything. So is she black for one? Yes, she is, so it is black. It's your regular ballpoint pen as far as like how it feels. I mean, you don't need to get in the detail of how it writes. Um, this is not a quill. That is interesting. Why would you need a spoon on the end, other end of a pen? Just multitasking? So you stir it and then it just drips right down while you're writing. <laughs> there you go, we have a spoon pen. Original, that's for sure. Um, the cauldron's cute. Would I use it? I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. It's questionable. Okay, <laughs> moving on. I'm seeing pattern things. Oh, do we save the journal? I'm seeing part of that journal. She's smaller. Should we just go for the journal? Let's go for the journal because we know we're expecting a journal. It's already pretty. Um, ooh, she is pretty. <clears throat> I'm seeing a theme in color palette here. I like the whole thing. I mean, you're taking a chance by by going with like one particular color palette because if somebody doesn't like that, then that sucks. Um, but it's feeling very Halloween-y with all this purple. This is pretty. I should have brought the other um, journals up. So it is a potions journal, which is what we thought. Wait, she's a journal, right? Okay. And look at this cover. You may not really remember, I don't know, um, or maybe you can't tell in the video, but it is a smaller journal. Uh, it's a different shape. I think it's the same width. I'm not sure. But the other journals are taller. In fact, they're all different sizes, I'm pretty sure. So it, All meaning like this is the third journal and there'll be one more, which I kind of like, like having the same size every time. Sure, that works but it gives dimension, obviously, by having, you know, on your bookshelves. But look how pretty, okay? You know, I, I have commented on shiny business on things. I love the shiny business. I just like it appropriately used. Dial it back a little bit, make it a little bit more special, okay? And I feel, it feels very appropriate. I found, I sound old using that word right now, but I just got off the muggle job, okay? Um, look how pretty. We've got a scale, so it says the proper preparation of potions, traditional methods suitable for school study by Professor Plumtree. And um, the back looks like this. Oh God, I don't know what my favorite journal is now. I love me a cauldron. This is kind of Felix Felicis vibes as far as the shape of this one, if I'm remembering it right. We got the scale, we've got some sort of snaky business, wormy business, an ingredient, all ingredients. Um, ingredients on the back, just little potions. So I think the others, it was patterned around the whole thing, but this one, the pattern is just on this edge here. <clears throat> and again, these journals are made by somebody who makes journals, like I was gonna say professionally, like on the regular. So she really knows her stuff. 
and I really like that she's not only varied up the sizes, she's varied up how she does things. It's not same, same, same every time. Um, and so here is the inside. We've got a cauldron. We've got lines because she is a journal. Oh wait, what does this look like? Ooh, look at all these, they're labels. Night, uh, moon dried night berries, enchanted feathers. So here are the end pages. And I'm assuming the other side is the same. Yes, very pretty. Plays really well with the outside. And yeah, she's a journal. She's got some purple edges. Really gonna fit in with my Halloween decor, which I am wrapping up this weekend. At least the decorate with me, and then we're gonna do the final reveal separate. Um, and I already have my journals out, so I'm gonna be adding that to it. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna do this. She's just a white box. What's in this white box? It's, there's some weight to it. A drink, maybe? I'm gonna go with a drink. It's got a potion bodily top. What are we? Is this like a water bottle? Inter it is. Why do I always wanna say drought? <laughs> maybe because you would really need some liquid in a drought? I don't know. The draft, well, it doesn't say the, the draft of hydration. <clears throat> Magically brewed in small batches from the purest of lock water in all of Scotland. So it's a water bottle. They did go with, with more color. This is a punchier purple um, than say this deeper purple here. Nope, it's kind of looking the same. Uh, but it's a water bottle. That's interesting with kind of potiony labels. So let me stop moving it around here. Here's kind of what would be the front. A little close up here. And then there's almost like almost like little stamps you would see, but like potion labels. What does that say? Winner of the Wizard's Choice Award for Most Potent of Potions. Well, there you go, they're tying it in. Um, individual bottle number, so just all ingredients, water, magic. Oh, that's Latin, okay. <laughs> Cleaning, charm, safe hand wash only. <clears throat> so here is the back, it is 17 ounces. And then they topped it off, literally, on the top here, with a cap that, oh, it unscrews, looks like it is a cork, and it seems to be stainless steel. Hey, I mean, the purple's more um, punchy than I would do, but that's different. How are these put on? Hold on. No, it doesn't seem to be, it, it's elevated. So it almost felt like a sticker real quick, so I was like, how's this gonna hold up? And I just wanted to test it. Um, and it's on there pretty well. So I think you're good to go, but I could see why you would want it hand washed. Um, so we've got a water bottle. Do you wanna give me a hint on what should I should do next? Save the box for last. All right, I'm gonna go with what's underneath this because I actually got a sneaky peeky. What are we? <clears throat> Seems pretty obvious. They seem to be <laughs> teaspoons. Can we get in there? Let's take them out. So we've got the whole range. So we've got a tablespoon, teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, and a half teaspoon. I just did those out of order. Um, and here's what it looks like. So it's a copper end, or what looks like a copper end. And then this feels like proper wood. Is this resin? It feels like proper wood. Oh my God. So they have little sayings on the wood. Let me see if you can pick up on it right there. This one says double, double toil and trouble. And then it's the one tablespoon. Then the teaspoon says fire burn and cauldron bubble. Are you picking up on what they're dropping here? Something wicked this way comes. This is one of my favorite songs in Harry Potter as far as the ones that like cheer me up and like put a pep in my step um, by the pricking of my thumbs. So that one is the, is that the quarter? No, again, did it out of order. Are we picking up on this? So it's engraved on the wood. Now, useful item for sure. I really like the um, etching. I just don't love copper. I, I like it, it's very well made and very sturdy. I just wish it were like silver. Am I too picky? Did you just say yes? How dare you? <laughs> the comments are gonna be like, yeah, she is. Um, no, I like it, I like it. All right, what do we got? The next thing that I'm seeing is a patterned fabric-y situation. Look at us. What do we got on here? What is this? What are your guesses? Uh, I'm gonna guess, hmm, she's thin. She's airy looking. I was gonna say pillowcase, but it doesn't look like, it looks like a tapestry, like a tablecloth maybe. What are we? Feel is everything. 
and this feels very silky. What are you? Is it a pillowcase? Oh, is it a scarf? <laughs> How many more things can I guess? Is this a scarf? It's a scarf. That's soft. All right, let me show you the pattern up close. That's pretty. She has a potiony pattern. Look at that. We got them neutral colors. I've been asking for them neutrals. Look at that cauldron. I can actually, I can see this through. So, oh, look at the um skeleton with a candle. Some potions, which potion is that? Essence of, uh, what is that? Belladina? Should I know that? We got a beetle in a bottle. Look, it's not like, it's repeating, yeah, but they've got a good amount of variation that it takes a bit. A brick and mortar, brick and mortar? How about a mortar and pestle? <laughs> That's what that is, what is this here? Advanced potion making. Look at the goblet right here. So it is a scarf and it's got like a very um, silky feeling to it. Probably polyester is gonna be my guess. And then see-through. This would actually go with my... It's not like repeated on the other side. So when it flips, you're gonna get that like inverse look. Um, but the pattern is pretty, it's popping. Should be popping. That's probably not how I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> um, I, I think I like that. I think I like it. Obviously, if you don't wear scarves, um, that's not gonna be for you. But very well made. Everything's very well made. Um, all right, this is the one, because he's got the cheat sheet over here that he said to save la for last, and it's a box. And it's one of the boxes where they actually like label the heck out of it, telling you what it is. What is it? The Potion Master, whoa, hold on. The Potion Master's Backflow Incense Burner. I like incense. Ideal for the brewing, hold on, it's in a, of Enchanted Aromas by Master Potion years. Okay, how about we just look at it and then we'll, it says how to use. She's got some styrofoam. I haven't burned any incense in a bit, um, but I do love burning incense. Oh, incense provided. Okay, thank you. Oh, that is cute. I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for a cauldron, okay? I mean, you should see when you, when you watch, assuming you specifically are gonna be watching the, um, uh, uh, what does it say? Get ready with me. Uh, decorate with me. We have a whole bunch of cauldrons and, and lots of variations. And like I mentioned earlier, we just picked up a really cool cauldron. I love cauldrons. This is cute. How does this work? Okay, let me show it to you. I'm talking all this cauldron talk. It is, I'm guessing, an incense holder. Look at this cauldron. So this feels like proper ceramic, which we like. I don't like a plastic cauldron. You obviously wouldn't want that for something you're burning. And it's got some lines on it. It's got the handles. It's got the little feeties. It's not a proper cauldron without some feeties, okay? And it's got, I love a stacked cauldron, okay? I'm a sucker for that too. It's like taking it to the next level. And this is a, a stacked tipped cauldron. That's cool. So how does this work? So then they have provided a whole bunch of incense. So I have a lot of like the long incense. I haven't used these kinds in ages. I really like these. I didn't know they come in different colors. That's different. Um, well, I already know I'm keeping this item for sure. So how do we do this? It does say how to use on the back. Let's check that. I thought it was gonna go like this, which obviously doesn't make sense anymore because look what just happened. Um, where'd that go? I don't know, let's get another one. So we've got a pink one. So it just sits on top here. And if I'm reading correctly, the smoke is gonna come out here and up. Genius, magic delivered, genius. We have found matches. Okay, can I trust myself to do this? No. Any, no? Anything flammable, here we go. I get nervous just lighting a match. Okay, she's lit. Actually, let's do it that way, I think. Probably shouldn't do it over the scarf. Oh, this is making me nervous. Should I stop? Because mm -hmm. <sighs> I gotta wait for it to get that. I need a place for this. Thank you. Okay, so it's got the red bit. Is that fire alarm gonna go off here? And then, here's our cauldron. Let's place it right here. <gasps> Do you see that? That's so cool. Hold on. Are you seeing it like pouring out? I don't wanna tip it too much. It's pouring out of the cauldron into the cauldron. 
Genius! I love this so much. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, and also, if you're not subscribed to the boxes, whoa, she just went out of focus. Uh, Magic Delivered, I've noticed, have they put up all their items. So if you like this as much as I do, go check out their shop once. They normally give it a little bit of time, then they'll put it up there. That is so cool. And I don't know if you picked up on this, but I'm seeing the pink. So for this one here, whoo, she is strong. For this one, there, there's a little bit of pink. I could see it. I don't think you, I don't think it's coming off, but I could see it. Okay, that's cool. Oh my God, that's cool. Okay, give me that cheat sheet. Let's cheat sheet time. Cheaty sheety. Here we go. This is, other way. <laughs> this is what I saw um, when I first pulled it out was a cauldron. Double, double, toil and trouble. Okay, cauldron shop at staff tea. I don't figure there's much to say about that. Um, prep your potions in style. Do, do, do. Toil and trouble measuring spoon set. Obviously, as it's saying, you're gonna need some spoons. You're gonna need to measure accurately or things can go awry. Um, the uh, drop, <laughs> the draft. I'm, I'm tripping myself up. Um, of hydration water bottle. Very clever. That's cool. Um, designed and instilled with magic. I was trying to see if there was any artists attached to this. Cauldron Incense Burner. Coming straight from the apothecary, we bring you this specially crafted, that's for sure, I've never seen anything like that, Incense Burner to really set the mood. It already is. Are you seeing the smoke? Should I just leave it underneath my face? Whoa. No. Okay. <laughs> um, <coughs> you'll never get enough of this masterpiece until you inhale the whole thing. Uh, the Proper Preparations Potion Notebook. We're gonna get into favorites, so I won't even like, again, that's by Forensics and Flowers. I will uh, link her shop down in the below's wooden spoon pen. Now that you have your new notebook. Oh, right, I think every single one that they've had a notebook, there's been a pen corresponding with it. So that's making more sense to me, okay? Cause I don't think I'll be dipping that in anything. It's for aesthetics, this one, I think. Um, potion scarf as we enter our favorite time of year. So they're even trying to theme it to it being autumn, at least in the good old US of A um, and you know, other regions in this area. <laughs> we are autumnal right now. Um, it was a must to include a lightweight scarf that will keep you cozy featuring artwork from, from Karen Leopold, which I, I think they've worked with Karen Leopold before. I recognize that name. I'll link her down below too. This scarf will work with any fall wardrobe. Um, and then there are two add-ons. I didn't do the add-ons. Oh, and the other thing, sorry, I'm all over the place. Where's the incense thing? Did I say this? 10 uniquely scented cones and more bags available from our shop. So I was wrong. They are scented differently. Let's see if we can pick up any other scents. Oh, that is different. I, I don't know how to, incense are always a little challenging to pick up differences, yeah. Um, like, have you ever been to a store? If you have indecision, good luck with that. Um, cause they have to really, it has to be a real standout ingredient. I think because of the way they're made. It just smells like an incense. Perfectly fine with me, but I can tell there are differences. So yeah, all right. Favorites, whew. I think, and I'm really surprised right now. I don't wanna pick a favorite. I mean, I was already figuring my favorite was gonna be this journal and I really love this journal and I don't even know. Maybe you tell me in the comments below of the journals what's been your favorite. I love them all. Um, I think the Magical Creatures one beat out the first one even though I really liked the, the Mushroom one. This is pretty close, but I'm a sucker for a darker aesthetic. I'm a sucker for a cauldron and we got all of that in here. And I like that it's different and it's like a square shape. That's really cool, but I think, oh, it's hard. It's hard. This is a top. This is maybe a top in like subscription boxes in general. You've got useful, you've got clever in how it actually um, moves and you've got aesthetic, you've got theme. They've nailed it. They nailed it on that one. Um, she's staying with me, that one. And let's see. I mean, okay, yes, I just, I, I had commentary on the copper. I'm not a big copper fan, but they're well made. Feels like a proper metal, feels like proper wood. I love that the song is like spread out over the spoons. That's really cool. Um, I would say the only item I'm not super keen on, I mean, the, the pen is like, I mean, now that I know that they're just attaching it with the journal, 
perfectly fine and it fits it well. I think if it were darker, I'd like it even more, but I think the shirt is probably just gonna be on the lower um, thing. The water bottle is really neat. It's more colorful than I tend to like, but I like the ingenuity of it and I really like that. It's useful, it's quality. Um, she is, I believe, stainless steel. Stainless steel bottle. Thank you, Magic Delivered, again, for always sharing what your products are made of. Um, what they're made of, who they're made by, just all of these details adds value to it, okay? Um, but yeah, I think the only thing like I really do like a lot about the shirt, um, you know, I'm not a huge staff t-shirt, t-shirt, yeah, person, because I like the activity being on the front, um, unless it's like a zip up or something like that. Like I have a zip up hoodie, um, it's not Harry Potter, whether it's similar, but I can unzip it and you can like show what's on your shirt. This is a strong box in my opinion. Let me know in those comments down below what you think. I mean, it was a strong theme. I know a lot of people were excited for this. I was excited for a potent potions theme. Um, I don't know how potent we got, but I don't care. And the scarf is really cool. The design is really nice. The material feels really soft. Um, and I, scarves, you can also do more with them than just wear them. So I really like that, especially because it's not an infinity scarf. I don't love infinity scarves because they're restricted to being a scarf. This could almost be a tapestry or draped over something. It's cool. Anyway, I love this box. Let me know in those comments down below. What was your favorite item in this box? What are you thinking? I feel like Magic Delivery is just bringing it more and more every time. Um, I'm loving it. Keep it coming. And uh, until next time. Remember to, I almost didn't remember, to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic. And don't forget that comment. If you got some cues for me, I can bring you some A's. So I'll see you next time. Bye.